Hello you guys and welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here. Today's video is going to be in the dark because it is nighttime and I wanted to film this video <laughs> and it's going to be a long one and a good one. But today we're going to be talking about another big Monate team that has gone to a different MLM. This Monate team has gone from Monate to Q Sciences. So not iGenius, it's not the crypto MLM. It is a different one. So what's crazy about this team is when I was looking everything up and doing my research on the top leaders in the team and everything like that, I was noticing that they were doing it around the same time as WFAB. So when everything was happening with WFAB in kind of like the, I believe it was like the end of November, right? When did I put my videos up? Let me check because it wasn't long ago. Okay, two weeks ago. Well, it'll be three weeks when you guys watch this video. So about three to four weeks ago, it wasn't just WFAB that was moving to another MLM. It was also this team that they call themselves the Impact Project. So if you hashtag the Impact Project, you can find them all on Instagram. Thankfully to you guys, you guys sent me the link to their opportunity call. So I went on and I snuck into it. So I have snuck into their opportunity call for these ex MLM reps that were in Monate that are now in Q Sciences. This is a Q Sciences Zoom call, an opportunity call that we're gonna be reacting to today. But I kind of wanna recap about this team and chat about this team for a little bit before we kind of go into the opportunity call. They did the exact same thing WFAB did. If you look at hashtag the impact project, you are going to find a plethora of individuals who have left Monate. They do a post like this one says cheers to new beginnings where they do a whole post about getting real they talk about the fact that they are now leaving monate they're forever grateful and they're now buckling up and bracing themselves for impact that's coming for a new opportunity so this is exactly what wfab did they went on social media they said that they were like resigning and they were moving to another thing and all of them did that these people are doing the exact same thing so again look up hashtag the impact project but the top leader this is her post it says new beginnings i want to be transparent through this transition in my life because you guys deserve the truth. As many of you have probably noticed these past couple months, I've been distant and disconnected. I went on a soul search for myself and I spent a lot of time diving into what living a fulfilling life looks for me. I had to disconnect to reconnect in many ways, put my ego to the side and revisit what I believe to be my purpose here on earth. There have been some changes in my life I could have never seen coming and perspectives that have been shifted in the best possible way. All of this leading up to this moment in time, which I am eternally grateful for. In the midst of all of this, I realized that life is simply too short not to follow what you want to do or being called to do. For these reasons, I decided to make the tough decision to resign from Monate. I am beyond, beyond grateful for those past or these past 3.5 years. I truly would not be who I am without the company, my team, and the incredible support I've gotten along the way. The impact we've been able to create have been life-changing for so many people, and I'm so excited to continue doing that through my platform. Although I'm sad, to let go of what we've built these past couple years. I'm excited for this new chapter and to take you guys on every step of the journey starting now. Okay, so the person's post that I just read, let's call her K during this call. So K is clearly one of the top leaders that decided to make this move. Now here is the post from the other top leader that also left and planned this move with K. So we'll call this individual E. So K and E are clearly the top leaders, just like with W Fab. We had Jasmine Dre. Those were clearly like the top two individuals and then everybody else that followed them. These individuals are K and E. K's post we just read, like I said, and then this is E's post. We'll call her E during this call. So E made this post also on the same day in November of 2021. This post says, thank you for a life-changing 3.5 years. I want to start with saying thank you. Thank you to everyone that has been part of this journey for 3.5 years. My customers, business partners, friends, family, anyone that shared my post or sent their friends my way. I'll never be able to to express my gratitude for each of you. I have nothing but good things to say about my time here, the products, and the people I met because of it. I love you all so much. Nothing changed here, but something changed in me. After lots of reflecting and personal life events, I realized life is just too short, man. When you realize how insane it is that we're all flying through space on a big ball of fire, the thought of not doing what you feel called to do seems as crazy as it is. The first best decision I made was saying yes to this in the first place. Clearly saying yes to Monet is what she's saying. It changed my life truly. And I think the second best decision is the one I've just made, which is leaving and going to Q Sciences with her friend Kay. Though it makes me sad, some things break your heart, but fix your vision. The impact that was made was greater than I could have 
ever imagined or even could have hoped for, but I'm excited to continue to do that here. God doesn't call the qualified, qualifies the called. Stay tuned and brace yourself for an even greater impact. And then she clearly hashtagged the impact project. So on further investigation, I found out that E back in 2019 hit the managing market mentor rank, which is the top 0.15% of reps in Monate. I could not find any recent stuff. I don't know if she got higher than that. I don't know if she was higher than K in the comp plan. I also don't know if one recruited the other. So if you do have that information, let me know in the comment section down below. I tried to look through all of their posts and all I could find was that they're best friends. They were in Monate for pretty much the same amount of time. And then back in 2019, E did hit the managing market mentor rank. And that is again, the top 0.15%. So it seems like the girl E and her friend K both made this move together as the top leaders of the impact project. So like I said, the second she posted this, everyone else made posts about new beginnings, cheers to new beginnings. Thank you for life changing events the past couple years, new adventures. People have done Instagram reels saying reasons you should join the impact project. Literally WFAB 2.0 is what this team is from from then on, like I said, if you look up the impact project, you'll find many other Monate reps leaving. So this makes me assume, and if you have actually any information on this or backstage view on this, if you were someone on this team and you have anything that you want to send me, feel free to send me. But this makes me think that cross recruiting has happened. In Monate, it is against their policies and procedures to cross recruit, which was a big issue with WFAB doing this. So what WFAB did was they essentially told social media that they were resigning and then they had these opportunity calls with their Monate team telling them about this new opportunity with iGenius. So that's pretty much what they have done. A bunch of people from their old team, and I don't know the exact number, but the old team has now come with them to Q Sciences. So that makes me believe that cross recruiting has happened and these people in the impact project, the top rep, have cross recruited. They have left their other MLM. They have probably done an opportunity call similar to this, which is what we're going to watch in a minute that had I think over 60 people on it, which is a decent amount of people when you're moving to a new MLM. But again, that makes me assume that people from Monate that were on this individual's team have now moved with her to this new MLM and I've resigned from Monate because again, I have a bunch of proof of people resigning from Monate and then saying that they were going to Q Sciences. When researching this top leader, I did find that on Monate's website, she was a director. So I was curious. I was like, okay, what was her rank? How high was she really in this MLM? So if you actually go on Monate's website, you can see all their directors. I will link it down below. And she was AED. She hit that rank in March of 2020, which is, if you look at the Monate Income Disclosure Statement, is the top 0.05% of the company. So she was in the top. So I wanted to read this post from April of 2021, so or 2020, when she talked about going AED, which is one of their director ranks. It goes, AED, someone pinched me. Some of you may be wondering what the hell AED stands for. AED stands for Associate Executive Director, the first director rank and promotion in my company. What does that mean? It means more financial freedom, the ability to make a bigger impact, and the eighth rank in my company, only two away from the top of our comp plan. In a year and 10 months of pursuing my passion, this is by far the biggest milestone I've ever achieved in my business. Many are unaware of the obstacles and tribulations it took to get here, so don't get me wrong. This did not happen overnight or come easy for me. It took a lot of personal growth on my part to become who I needed to be to obtain this and lots of trial and error along the way. But here's the thing, I'm no different than you. I remember thinking to myself, how could I ever get there? I'm not a leader. I can't inspire anyone. These were just my own limiting beliefs that I realized were holding me back for far too long. My advice to you is to just start. Start uncomfortable. Start unready. Start showing up as a woman or man you want to be every single day. Thank you a million times to my incredible team for their hard work and dedication. We did this together. The culture and support we've been able to create is truly incredible and something I'll continue to be grateful and proud of. Thank you. You guys already know how I feel about this whole team thing. When someone says we did this together, but okay, who's on the director website of Monet? Who's getting the perks? Who's making the money? Who's getting all of those bonuses and able to make that money off the MLM? You, not the individual who helped you get there, not the downline. They don't benefit from you rank advancing, but these individuals will continue to thank their teams that we did it when, yes, your team is the one who put in the work and the time and the effort and bought the products and did all of that to give you the volume and all of that stuff to be able to rank advance. That was her post about hitting AED. So again, she did hit the director rank, the top 0.5%. So she was at the top, probably making decent money. Again, very much like Jasmine, I can compare her to. So again, on November 27th, she announced her move to Q Science 
alliances. So then a week ago, I seen that they were having this opportunity call because someone messaged it to me. Thank you, girl, for sending it. And then this other person, let's call her F for her name. I'm going to be probably blurring her out. But F is a top, top leader in Q Sciences. And she's running the call with them or doing it for them. I thought, why not do this opportunity call with you guys and watch as more people from Monate go to other MLMs and other scams because they probably realize that they weren't making money anymore, which is the funny thing that these uplines will go from one day they're making all of this money and they're doing their passion and what they were made to do, right? As she said on social media, to the next day, just going to a different MLM because they weren't making enough anymore. But what about all the people under them who also haven't ever made enough, haven't ever made a profit in their MLM and have worked their butts off to now have to join another multi-level marketing company, do another starter kit, build another brand or try to build their own brand on social media. And in my opinion, I don't think they think about that. They think about themselves, these top leaders who do this. So buckle up. I have not watched this whole call. I've watched the beginning and all I did was screen record it because I was editing another YouTube video for you guys until 10 o'clock at night the other night. So... I did not get to watch this whole thing. So I thought, why not blind react? Normally 99.9% .9 of my videos are scripted, actually 100% of them. This is the first one I haven't scripted in, I would say over a year, but I thought it would be best unscripted. So let's go see what they have to say. Um, I had, you know, I, I had made six figures in my business. I was making six figures a year. I'd earned the free car. Um, I was, you know, doing really great in that company. But at the end of the day, if you know me, if you know, you know that the, that we're all about impacts um, and if our girls aren't winning if our team isn't winning then we aren't happy we don't want to just be collecting a check at the top um, and calling it a day so when I got the SUNY, I immediately shut it down obviously being so um, you know into what we were doing before but she did her what she usually does and she went um, on a deep dive into the company I'll let her tell that part of the story came back to me about a week later to let me know that she was actually resigning to come over here and that really made me take a step back and I was like holy crap if you're willing to throw away three and a half years of work um, that we have built together over, over this time span then obviously it must be incredible right so tell me about it um, and she did and my jaw just dropped to the floor I was like wow how could I possibly miss out on this opportunity? I would be stupid not, I'd be stupid to say no. So um, I'm gonna let her story in depth yes. and then we're gonna pass it to Francesca and she'll take over from there. As we can see, this person's like, oh, impact. Exactly what W5 did. They stated, oh, well, we were noticing that our teams weren't making an impact and they weren't making money. And like we were, we were making six figures, blah, blah, blah. I am telling you that no upline is leaving because of that reason to go to another MLM. Normally, if an upline finally realizes that MLMs are formed in a way to where downlines will always lose money, they will just leave the industry in general. They will leave multi-level marketing companies. They will never do the business model again but as we can see this person was probably not making as much money as she wanted to so she wasn't impacted enough so she left but it seems like this e person that she's with also was the one who brought it up to her so i'm curious to know if e is her upline or her friend so they actually look like twins it's kind of crazy i think they're just friends but it seems as if one is the other person's upline and maybe e is the upline to the k person but if you actually go on e's instagram she made a similar post and if i go to the date that she made hers was also november 27th so k and e clearly run this team together the impact project and they both posted the same day that they were resigning they also had to make a post saying i want to make it clear but as kind as possible we are not going to a crypto company or just so there's no confusion if you understand this post respectfully so that means people were going at them like oh you're going to crypto too because of the w5 team that was going i find that comical because it was happening at the same time i just don't think many people realize that this was happening and people were going to q sciences so let's see what this individual has to say about why they're leaving yes hello friends oh my goodness drop a two 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 in the chat um let's keep the vibes super high i'm so excited to be talking oh my gosh can't speak talking with you guys tonight sorry i'm trying to accept people at the same time um but we'll go ahead and get into it so yeah like i said um i was feeling much like herself in my previous endeavor no bad talk on them we love our previous place where we come from you know they made us women that we are today we truly wouldn't you know even be here in network marketing without them but um, at the same time, you know, right, we just, we kind of looked up one day and we're like, all right, you know, who is truly winning at, you know, consistently and often, um, or at even a similar level to us in our previous organization. And we just couldn't really unsee that for a while. It took a minute for us to kind of get to that 
point of realization, but when, um, actually, ironically, how all this happened, when I realized the product I was using for a year um, was network marketing, that's what kind of led me here. So it, it's so interesting. I've been using this product for my chronic neck pain and had no idea that it was network marketing. Um, my man actually separated from his real estate endeavor and situation. Um, the same week that I came across the same bottle of the neck cream that I had um, from Instagram, again, it was gifted to us. So I had no idea where it came from, found it on Instagram and led me somewhere to Francesca. Started looking at her stuff, looking at her leaders and everything was, it was insane how everything was aligning and every story was almost identical. Um, teams were having wins often, consistently, and I just couldn't unsee it. I was like, wow, okay, wait, everyone's kind of talking about, you know, that being a little slower 2021, you know, it being like, you know, not everyone's year, everyone's recovering from, you know, previously 2020. But meanwhile, this, these people were thriving and I just, I couldn't unsee it. So I actually got, um, information he got connected with Francesca which is my man and got started he is the last person to do network marketing if you actually know him he has about 200 Instagram followers he always said you know if I have to do anything like what you've done I never want to do it and that's because he just experienced the extreme burnout the feelings that I had um, at the end of just wanting to see my my team succeed but almost not feeling like I had um, you know, the tools, I didn't feel like I was equipped to really continue to lead at a certain point. And if you know anything about John Maxwell, you know, law of the lid, um, you know, kind of capped out our team is what we felt. So to make a long story short, I, um, got him connected with Francesca. He got going and after seeing, you know, the back end of it, I got to go to corporate with him and visit, talk to, you know, CEO, the president, head of product development, head of field development and got all my questions answered. Okay, I need to pause it. So how is it that these reps like in WFAB said that they got on calls with the top people in iGenius like CEOs and now she's saying her and her man went all the way, like literally went to corporate and had conversations with the CEOs and got all their questions answered. Like how is that a thing? Because nobody else gets the chance to do that, which makes me assume actually that they have an in or they had already an in with these people aka like the top people in q sciences because nobody else is being invited from corporate to come out or either corporate looked at them and was like oh he has a really huge team of monet how can we get them over to our team that's again my assumption because i would love to know what you guys' theories are but i don't see any other mlm this ever happening unless you're poaching someone else's people aka q science is just trying to come over and get monet's people to come over like why else would q sciences pay for these people to come out or maybe not even pay but have these people come out and answer all their questions at corporate i find that very weird she's also saying that she was realizing that they weren't impacting and their people weren't winning but q sciences people were winning yeah let me just break it down and tell you it's all a facade that's my opinion about every mlm every mlm presents something on social media they present that everyone's winning they present that everyone's making money and everyone's doing it and anybody can do it and you don't have to be an expert and products are so amazing the products are so great that's what they do if if you look at any MLM and I talk about it all the time but I showed you guys with WFAB I showed you guys back in things that they never thought would get out versus what they showed on social media and you could see the facade multiple marketing companies make especially big teams like this F chick from Q Sciences is at the top. Clearly she has a facade that she's gonna put on on social media to make it look like everyone's winning, everyone's making all this money, everybody's doing great. So it's just very weird to me how she kind of listened to that and went with them and kind of was like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna listen to you and I'm totally gonna go to your team. I don't know, I find it all very, very weird. Turned over every single stone and um, yeah, that's kind of what led us here today. He saw some success very quickly and I was like, wow, they have systems in place. They have all these things, um, you know, going for them that we just, we didn't have prior um, on top of all the things you guys are going to learn tonight from. So without further ado, we'll kind of get into it. But that is what, you know, inevitably led us here. You guys, this is for She's a black diamond with the company. She's making $120,000 a month. She's made $2 million in the last two and a half years, um, possibly more by now. But uh, better than that, you guys, she's created over 50 um, six figure earners in the last two and a half years. And that is something that it's super exciting. Send some love in the chat for that, you guys, because that just shows her commitment overall to, you know, the people that she is helping here. And we're so excited to have her on tonight. So something that kind of annoys me with talking about the income with this company is if you look at Q Sciences, 
comp plan, it's all weird. Now with their comp plan, they always wanna say that you can make guaranteed income, right? So let's go to it. Okay, so they wanna say when you look at their comp plan that it's super easy to get up and you can make so much money. So they said this person's making $120,000 a month because of their monthly teen commission. So Q Sciences doesn't have an income disclosure statement. No, they do not. Why don't they? I don't freaking know and it's very shady. I find it very shady when multiple marketing companies don't have income disclosure statements and then their reps make excuses for why they don't because then they can do this. They can go on and say, oh, we've produced $50 million earners or six figure earners and I've made 2 million. But where's the actual like proof with all of this? Where's the proof? Where's the numbers? Where's the bank statements? Where's the income disclosure statement? There is none. So when we look at their comp plan, I want to really emphasize how much money and time goes into all of this. So their comp plan is all about recruitment and you're gonna see that in a second. So let's look, in order to be in the company, you need to have a set PV every single month. So essentially what you purchase in the company. So you have to have 100 PV monthly just to keep your rank up until you get to the one, one, two, three, four, five, sixth rank, you'll need 200 PV every month. Every single rank, you need two people under you. So PA, that second column, or third column actually, stands for the people you need under you, your reps. Then when you look at qualified OV, I've never heard of OV before until this MLM. So OV stands for overall volume, which is all of your downlines and customers. So any person in your downline that gets a customer or what they purchase, et cetera, all of that volume goes into a pot. And then that's what makes your volume for the month. So as we could see, once you get to the top of the company, you need 3 million, 3 million in OV. How? much do you think people sell and buy every month for people to maintain that rank? Because without that, you can't be that rank. So every month at the end of the month, they look at what volume has accumulated from your downline and your customers, and then that goes into your pot. So if you can't maintain that 3 million OV, then you lose your rank. So it's not gonna be as easy as they say. I've seen a lot of people in Q Sciences when I was researching this saying that it's guaranteed money. You're guaranteed to make money, you're not. So since people in Q Sciences want to say that you are guaranteed money and all of that stuff, Stuff, I wanted to dive a little bit deeper into this comp plan to explain it to you all because it is interesting. So now if we look at each rank, we're going to match up OV needed. So OV again is the volume needed to maintain whatever rank you're at. And then we're going to look at it next to the monthly commission. So on the chart I'm showing you guys, it's both of the blue sections in the part two of the comp plan. So in Q Sciences, they're going to tell you that you get a base pay in the MLM. Well, the definition of base pay is, quote, the initial salary based to to an employee, not including any benefits, bonuses, or raises. It is the rate of compensation an employee receives in exchange for services, end quote. This is not what's happening in Q Sciences. It is not what's happening in this MLM. You are not given a base pay. You are not guaranteed any pay at all, end of story. So what happens is, let's look at the rank of builder. So builder is the first rank you can get whenever you're in the MLM. We see that the OV is 300 and the monthly team's commissions is $50. So the reason it shows that you're gonna make $50 is because at the end of the month, Q Sciences is going to take your OV. So clearly, builder, you're going to have to have 300 OV. So if at the end of the month, Q Sciences takes your OV, which would be 300 at the builder rank, they're going to pay you out based on how much OV you have and the rank you are. So that means you must maintain your personal PV. So clearly for the builder rank, you have to have 100 PV, meaning you must buy $100 worth of products. You must also maintain active reps in your downline, minimum of two active reps, meaning two reps under you also are maintaining their personal PV, and then you must maintain the OV needed for that rank. So again, for builder, you need 100 PV, you need two people under you that are also active, and you need that 300 OV. So if you want to maintain that builder rank, and if you do maintain it by the end of the month, earning that 300 OV, so the 300 volume, you're gonna get paid out $50 in commissions. So with Q Sciences, you're gonna get a percentage of that OV in dollar amount at the end of the month. That's why they show you that your monthly team commissions for that rank is 50 bucks because to even maintain that rank, you need that 300 OV. And then at the end of the month, when Q Sciences looks and is like, okay, you maintained your rank, you have 300 plus OV for the month, you're going to make $50 and they're going to give you $50 in commissions. So your monthly commissions is literally based off of what products are bought and sold or people who sign up. So it can also include if you're signing up reps, you can just keep signing people up and having them buy products. So you could just be recruiting people that are buying products and stuff like that to get that OV that you need. 
So I hope that this all makes sense. So when they're saying base pay, please take that with a grain of salt. And if you do look at it, when even we get to the top rank, which is crown diamond, you need an OV of 3 million. And then they say that your monthly commissions will be 350,000. They're saying that because when you take 3 million OV, and you take the commission percentage out, you should make around the $350,000 that month. So no, it's not an easy thing in my opinion. And again, this is my opinion. It is not sustainable. And that's what they're not explaining. So this person F is going to go further into explaining the comp plan. And she's going to talk about how you get a base pay and all of this stuff. And it's not sustainable. In my opinion, you are not going to be able to sustain all the way up to 3 million OV every single month. And the amount of you know people under you that are staying active and all of that stuff so I feel like that's really the issue with this call when we're talking about income is they're never actually sitting here and going in depth explaining their comp plan they're just making it very black and white just trying to explain the comp plan to us saying that it's easy and oh my god you can get it and you can achieve it but they're making it look like that because we don't have an income disclosure statement for this company. So if I had an income disclosure statement, I would be able to look at it and say, hey y'all, only you know 0.01% of people make it to the top rank. 95% of people are in the first rank, meaning 95% of people are only making $50. Like I don't have those numbers. So I feel like it allows these people to kind of say whatever they wanna say about the comp plan without giving the full truth. Again, just my opinion based on looking at the comp plan. So I do not believe it's attainable or sustainable. So so I just wanted to show this before we get into it because there's no income disclosure and we'll see what this individual says about the comp plan. But let's see what F has to say. Hey guys. Oh my gosh. This gives me, this is so exciting. Like I, I don't think I'll ever get over the fact that we have these Zooms every single night and there's 50 to 100 people on them every single night just for like these leaders and there's so many of y'all on here. This is really exciting because what we have here at Q, it's like all of these different factors together. It's the perfect storm. And she just said that they've been having these calls every night, which I did notice that these two top girls, K and E, kept posting on their Instagram like, oh, we're having another call tonight. That means they've been getting 50 people every night to get on these calls. Where are those people coming from? I'm on an exclusive advisory board for the company. So I get to know things before other people get to know them, which is such an honor and a privilege. But if y'all even knew half of what was coming next year, this would be a no freaking brainer. And I get excited every single day, even after two and a half years that I get to be right here right now in the life change, the life changes that I've seen. It's just, it blows my mind. So this is my favorite thing to do. I love doing this. Yes, it's your favorite thing to do because you're making money off these people. These people, like these reps from Monet, have brought them so much money. Let's say 50 people moved from Monet to Q Sciences with these two individuals. That's 50 more people that's in this chick's downline. That is 50 more people who just bought their starter kit. So if we can assume a starter kit is hundred dollars i'm just using rough numbers times that 50 that's five thousand like ov and stuff like that so yeah you're making a lot of money off these people that's why it's your favorite thing to do we get to do it every night and it just it sets my soul on fire so welcome to the call i'm gonna give you guys a little bit of my story why I chose Q two and a half years ago. I was also an industry leader and had been in another company for four and a half years prior to coming here. And let me tell you from personal experience, I know what these leaders on this call are walking through. It is not easy, nor is it a light decision to literally turn in all of the work you did for years to start from scratch. Nobody comes in with a team. Everybody starts from scratch. It's not starting from scratch. Starting from scratch would be that you've never been in an MLM and you didn't have a team prior to bring with you. So these people, again, if you look up the Impact Project, you'll see a bunch of people on Instagram who resigned from Monate and are now in Q Sciences under these two girls. So yeah, you don't start from scratch. The people under them start from scratch. The people under them are going to struggle to make ends meet. They will not especially in the beginning, because when you think about first starting an MLM, like if they've brought over 50, 60, 70, 80 people, all of those people at one time buying starter kits is a huge payday for all of these girls, like the F, E, and K, huge paydays. And I will tell you why we did it. 
We did it because what we saw here at Q was that we were going to be able to help a lot more people have success. Because what you heard from them when they just talked, and this is true of anybody that I've had come to Q that has been in the industry before, as a leader, it becomes very unfun to be the only one winning on your team. It really sucks to be on the trip by yourself. It really sucks to walk the stage by yourself. It really sucks to walk the stage with a check in your hand, knowing that people on your team are not making even a fifth of what you're carrying across the stage. It starts to feel yucky. And that's where I was at. I had been in my company for four and a half years. I had never done network marketing before that. I was actually a child abuse investigator. I was a social worker and I fell into this industry by accident after I had my first kid. I was really just looking to feel better. I was struggling very much so mentally and physically and hormonally and all the things. And I started this industry just to get to feel better for a discount on probiotics if I'm really boiling it down. And when I really saw what was possible here, the money that was possible, the time freedom that was possible, get the community that was possible. I really caught the vision of what network marketing as an industry can do for people. I have to pause it because uh, if you look at the comments, these are anti malemers by the way, in the comment section, I just love it. So we have Mallory in the comment section saying, what's the name of the company? And then someone named iPhone goes, Fran is the best. Then we have Mallory saying, oh my gosh, so much money. Is that for everyone, even people at the bottom? And then iPhone goes, OMG, I need that money so bad and then Mallory's like six figures in a month I didn't even know you could even get to that iPhone says isn't it like a franchise like a McDonald's then Mallory's like is anyone monitoring this chat my mom wants to join but she wants to join under me my sister under her so like they're just fucking with them and they end up shutting the comments off because Mallory and iPhone keep like messing with her but back to what this person's saying we see this every time if you're on an opportunity call you're going to see someone give their sob story so they're gonna say stuff like oh my god I was a stay at home mom or I had just lost my job or I was struggling with mental health or I was this and that it's always a sob story because with these sob stories what you can do is you can relate to people if people can kind of see the MLM through your eyes and they could see oh my god this person came from what I'm going through right now this person said she you know had a kid and was struggling mentally and I just had a kid and I'm struggling mentally and then they end up roping in other vulnerable people because we could see this F chick was in a vulnerable spot she wasn't doing well she was struggling mentally she was struggling with all of these things and that shows me that she was in a vulnerable spot when she got preyed upon by this multiple marketing company and then now she's doing it to other people so i believe the anti-bot is who said this but she said it best she said it's when the victim becomes the perpetrator and that's what happens in mlms is you are once a victim you were roped in during a very hard time in your life and then you even if it's unknowingly have turned into the perpetrator you're now doing that to other people because you have been taught by your up lines that you need to do that that you need to find people just like you you need to share your story sharing stories is the only way that you'll be able to you know get to the top or whatever it is that they teach because it happens in all mlms and then you go out there this f chick and she ends up doing the same thing she ends up telling her story and telling her sob story and talking about how vulnerable she was probably roping in other vulnerable people and I was like, wow, I went from being a hater to somebody that was like on fire for it. And I became one of the top recruiters in my state, top 10 recruiters company wide. I did really well. I earned the car, earned the Lexus, the free Lexus. I went on countless trips. I don't even know how many at this point. They would send me on shopping sprees and give me thousands of dollars and tell me to take pictures of what I bought. Like really crazy fun things that don't happen in normal life. And that was fun for a time and it really helped my family, but it was nowhere near the dreams that I had for myself. And I was not taking hardly anybody along for the ride with me. And so after four and a half years, I decided that I was open to other things and I was going to start researching. Now, at that point, I had had enough time under my belt to really know what I was looking for. I had really developed a business mind and I was gonna be very intentional about the next move that I made. I was going to really vet and pick a company, not just based on the discount of probiotics, but really based on what it would be able to offer, not just me, 
but the people that were going to trust me. And this is what they all do when they're an MLM hopper and they hop from MLM to MLM, they shit on their old MLM that they, when they were in that MLM, were putting on a facade on social media that this thing was the best and they were doing the best and everyone under them was doing the best. Everyone does this. If you are an MLM hopper and then you leave for something else that you can make more money off of and then you shit talk that one. And it's funny because K and E kind of did the same thing. They said, well, we weren't impacting. So that's really the story these individuals are going Going with when it comes to hopping from MLM to MLM. They're really going with the, oh, I wasn't impacting enough, even though I was making six figures. I wasn't impacting and my team wasn't impacted. So they're trying to make it look like, oh, we're all about everybody else and not for ourselves. And I wanted to go big, 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 big. So I boiled it down to four different things that I was looking for. Number one, I was looking for a company that had ground floor timing. It's not everything y'all, but it's a huge leg up. And I don't think there's any person on this call that can dispute the edge of timing. It just is. My husband is obsessed with crypto and he talks to me all the time about what it would have, what it would look like if we would have bought X amount of Bitcoin 10 years ago when it cost a dollar. It's like, Oh, I don't even know. I don't know what it is today, but it was $60,000 like a couple weeks ago. Could you even imagine you can't deny you cannot deny the edge of timing. It just is. And so if I could find a company and I actually Googled ground floor companies in momentum to try to get some ideas, I would love that to be an aspect of what I was going to do. Okay, so we have someone who agrees with me. This is what I talk about. This is what everyone talks about with MLMs when we say the people at the top got in in the beginning, whether it was in the first month, whether they were the first distributor, whether they were the first person in the MLM within the year, because what happens is when you are the first person to join, everybody goes under you. So if I'm the first person, say there's a new MLM, they're selling water bottles, and I'm the first person to join, and I can start recruiting people, everybody after that goes under me. You know how many people end up under me? You know how much work I don't have to do because I'm just making millions by sitting here because I now have thousands and thousands and thousands of people under me. So yes, now all of these people who are on this call now, it's not the timing. You have, that boat has sailed, okay? So I wonder what she's gonna say now if she's gonna be like, oh, you guys are still in the groundbreaking like time frame." No, you're not. The people at the top are already at the top and the odds of anyone else getting there are slim to none unless you are already coming with a very, very large following, like hundreds of people following you. Or if you're like this and you're an MLM hopper and you can kind of get people from your old MLM to join you and it becomes a lot of people. So ground floor timing was the first thing I was looking for. The second thing I was looking for was products that actually make a difference. I love health and wellness. I love it because it made a huge difference in my life seven years ago, totally flipped my mental and physical health around. I also love health and wellness for a couple of different reasons. Number one, it is for everyone. Uh, I'm not going to say 100 because somebody's going to try to combat me, but I would say 95 to 99% of people in this world would like to feel better in some way, shape, or form, whether it's like a little bit more energy or a little bit more sleep or maybe some a little bit less weight or something. Everybody wants to improve something about themselves physically or mentally and supplements can do that. Okay, no, we're, we're gonna stop here. So I am no health and fitness professional. I will recommend the dietitian Kat. I will link her down below and I will also recommend the personal trainer and dietitian to be Brianna and I will link her down below if you wanna go check them out because they are certified and registered. But I'm a big advocate for the health and fitness realm and let me tell you someone who was in a health and fitness mlm these people have no right to tell anyone what to do with supplements or health and fitness supplements also aren't needed i do use supplements when i'm working out and stuff like that i use pre-workout to give me more energy and i do use post-workout to help me with my protein intake because i suck with getting protein in but i don't need them nobody needs a supplement nobody will ever need a supplement and a supplement is not going to be the thing to change your life also no supplement is going to make you lose weight none zero zilch you know what will being in a calorie deficit i don't know what else she's gonna say about health and fitness but no no ma'am if you are a per let me check is this girl a personal trainer because if she is and she's talking about supplement actually being like a thing that does that for you no purse bio says 
She's a mom to four kids. She's a seven figure earner. She's a top earner. She makes dreams come true and she has a YouTube channel. We'll be checking that out now that I know who she is. But no, supplements aren't the end all be all and they're not the thing to make you lose weight. Being a calorie deficit, that is for most people what will help. A lot of other people have other health conditions where they need to seek help for. So please go to your doctor and then go to your dietitians, go to your personal trainers if you want help. Supplements technically aren't needed. They can aid people in their health and wellness journey, but they are not needed in a health and wellness journey. And number two, health supplements are consumed on a month to month basis and they actually make a difference in people's lives. So people start taking them, they start feeling better and they're gonna order every month. And that is not only gonna help people, but it's also gonna build a strong business. So I was looking for health supplements that really work and work quickly. We're gonna look at their products really quickly because she's trying to say they really help and all of that stuff. Again, that that's not gonna make you hit your health and wellness goals, but let's see what they actually have. If we go in here, they have collagen peptide, they have pills. What do these pills do? Qmax. A vitamin? Okay, you can go buy vitamin. How much is this? <laughs> you can go buy vitamins at the freaking Walmart. $85? Oh my gosh. These are expensive. Their collagen is $110. Their calm peach lemonade non-hemp is $85. Ultra green, $60. Um, their pills, $72. They have more pills and more pills. They have kids products. I don't like any of these products. I normally don't talk about an MLM's product unless we're going into the health and fitness realm because I don't like the narrative around health and wellness that you need products to see results and that products are the thing that gives or that uh, supplements are the things that give you results when they're not. And these are way overpriced. You guys no. Number three, I was looking for a compensation plan that is fair, <laughs> just fair, simple. No potholes, no gotchas, just a fair, good comp plan that people can understand and that it's not like jumping through fiery hoops to help people make some money. <laughs> just wanted it to be a little bit more simple. So a compensation plan. And number four, simple systems where I felt like I could actually help people with a roadmap on what to do to get where they wanted to go simple systems that people understood and that were consistent that they could just plug into and feel like they can have success. Okay, I was looking for those specific things. I had no company in mind. I actually just started researching companies that would come to me through my Google search or if I saw somebody in another company on you know, Facebook, I would just start researching these aspects. A lot of times I'd get through one or two of my four and be like, no, <laughs> not good. Don't get that comp plan. It's 20 pages long. Something would kind of make me fall off. However, my friend Chastity started posting about this company called Q Sciences. And I was like, what is this? So I did my little thing and I started going on that like Facebook deep dive, started clicking on a bunch of things. I, you know, clicked on tags, eventually got to this girl named Terrace Page, who I had never met. She did not know me. I did not know her. We were not friends. And I started to watch her videos and look at her posts. One of her videos talked about the fact that she had been in this company for four months and she was already making about $15,000 a month. I was like, is that a scam? <laughs> That's like the first thing I thought, like, what? That did not seem true. But I was like, okay, I'm intrigued, kept looking. And then I saw this girl had about 150 rank ups every single month on her team. That's when my lights went off and I thought, I need to know what the heck these people are doing because that's what I want. I want my team winning. I want to be in momentum with them. I want to see them making money. Like, what are these people doing? So I got on a call with them and I, I like to call it an interview. I interviewed them for about five hours and I was so intrigued by their systems, by the simplicity of their compensation plan, by the products, everything. I was like, this can't be real. This is insane. Talked to my husband about it that night. It was really late at night. And he's not the biggest fan of MLMs. He joked that I was in a cult for four and a half years. So I was like, well, I don't know how he's going to take this. Please listen to your spouses. Should have listened to mine. He was like, that's a pyramid scheme. And I was like, you know, just me try it. 
Let me figure it out. And look where that got me. I mean, it got me here today to talk to you guys. So I do love that about it. But okay, she keeps talking about simplistic comp plan or whatever. So yes, their comp plan is one page. But just because a comp plan looks simplistic doesn't mean you can make it to the top of one. And this one, <laughs> it's simple. When you look at it, it looks simple. It's one page. A lot of other comp plans are way bigger with way more explanations. This one, I actually wish it explained a little bit more. I had to do a lot of research to understand their comp plan. But in general, to do this, I assume, theorize, believe my opinion that 90% of people will never sustain this. But when he heard the information, he immediately said, Fran, you have to do this and you have to do this like now. He was like, this is going to be huge. I was like, you're right. It is. So I joined. That was two and a half years ago. I will tell you now. The timing that we have right now with all of the innovation and all of the things that we've tightened up in the last two and a half years, the timing now is probably better than the timing of when I joined because we were still trying to clean up a couple loose ends. It's insane right now. So no, if an MLM has been opened for years, years of recruiting has gone by. You've missed the boat. Unless you have those other avenues of having a huge social media following where you can recruit a lot of people instantly. And then those recruits can recruit and then that continues. What's happened in the last two and a half years just on a personal level before I get into the details of what we offer in those four categories that I was talking to y'all about. Um, the last two and a half years, we obviously have really increased our income. Making six figures a month is insane and was not on my radar but that just shows the possibility of what can happen here with our comp plan our products our systems a lot of work and a lot of time cannot discount what i've done for that but we've been able to really secure our family's future we've got four retirement plans now we have a ton of investments we've been able to give hold up jessica hickson's on this call too in her Christmas shit. Oh my God. What is her name on the call? Actually, I've decided to end the video here as I'm sitting and I'm editing this video that I filmed. I felt it was so, so, so long. So I thought that I would put it in a part one and a part two. So today is part one. And then in part two, I'm going to actually upload part two tomorrow. So tomorrow you will get the second half of the call and the second half of my thoughts. It is very interesting, but I would love to know what you guys think after listening to this call. This call was definitely interesting to me on a lot of different levels but I give more ending to how I feel about the call in part two but yeah this is the intro to kind of talking about this other team the impact project and this team pretty much doing the same exact thing that the WFAB team did they did the same thing with the type of posts they made with the way they went about it with the the whole story on how the uplines were the one to go to the downline there was two people included in like the uplines that you know decided to go over to Q Sciences this other MLM they've cross recruited based on my knowledge and what I have seen where I bet they pocketed a lot of money in the first couple days or couple weeks that they have been in it. But again, part two will finish the call and I will end with my final thoughts on what I think about all of this. So don't forget to leave a like and a comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in tomorrow's part two.